Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akiyam throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai in truth and in sincerity all right so this scene is going to be a scene that i'm going to show from the movie titanic and basically the titanic was starting to uh, fall apart and it was sinking and one of the characters uh kaladin he goes up to uh, mr murdoch and uh he basically tells him save a spot for me okay i'll be back and he gave him a fist full of money and uh put it in his pocket and he said do we have an understanding and murdoch looked at him like yeah whatever you know i, I get it yeah i see what you're trying to do i get it you know he hands him the money and he saves him a spot all right on uh, one of the lifeboats all right, because Mr. Murdoch was in charge of uh, keeping order of the people and making sure that the women and children get a lifeboat. Um, and then when it was time for uh, Kaladin to come back to get that uh, that spot, he told him, he told him, listen, man, your money can't save you no more than it can save me. Because that damn ship was going down. There was nothing that can that he can do with that money anyway. Shit, he his life wasn't even uh, uh, secured. He was just trying to make sure that he kept order and that the women and children got a boat and just try to keep everybody away because everybody was going crazy. Why? Because the boat was sinking, man. It's cold as hell in the middle of I think it was Pacific Ocean. That water was freezing. People was terrified. They have never been a part of anything like that in their life. I mean, it was absolute chaos, man. So, he told him straight up, your money can't save me, and it can't save you right now. He said, me basically was like, back up, man. Find another way. And, and, and basically, the point I'm trying to make is that our, your money ain't going to save you in these last days. It's no, it's no problem with making money, but when you are using that as some type of uh, collateral to get you into the kingdom, it won't happen. You can ask the rich man about that. He thought he can buy his way into the kingdom, and the Lord told him he couldn't. You know, because you got to have faith, and you got to repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. That's all you got to do is simple. But Jake don't like the simplicity of the Lord. They want to do it their way because their way is the comfortable way, which is why people um, continue to fall to fall victim to the flesh because they don't want to resist the devil. They don't want the devil to flee. They want to dance with the devil because the Bible says if you resist the devil, he shall flee. But they don't want to resist the devil. They want to dance with the devil. And that's why they end up in the predicament they, they stay in. So I'm going to play this clip and then I'm going to get a, uh, a couple scriptures, man. Because your money is not going to save you. Your, your image, your reputation, none of that to this world it will not save you. The only thing that will save you if you truly have faith and you endure to the end. And you believe on the names of Yahweh while Yahweh shy. Chance to live, you loony bastard! I'll shoot any man who tries to get past me, get back! Bastard! Get back! Had a deal, Dad. Any more women or children? Your money can't save you any more than it can save me. Get back! Women and children out there! You see the chaos, man. Under pressure. That's how it's gonna be out here, man, these streets, man. When all chaos break loose and all hell breaks loose and everything, man. People are going to realize that their money cannot save them in that day. This is Ezekiel 7 and 15. 
It says the sword is without and the pestilence and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword and he that is in the city famine and pestilence shall devour him so you're gonna have diseases and famine the famine of the word you're gonna have famine of food you know what i mean diseases all over the place it's gonna be death all over the place in the day of the lord man verse 16 but they that escape of them shall escape and shall be in the mountains like doves of the valleys all of them mourning every one of his iniquity all hands shall be feeble and all knees shall be weak as water so everybody gonna be terrified fear overcoming them in that day in the day of the lord all right and they shall also gird themselves with sackcloth and horror shall cover them and shame shall be upon all faces and, and baldness upon all their heads they shall cast their silver in the streets and their gold shall be removed their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of Yahweh. they shall not satisfy their souls neither fill their bowels because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity because they trust what in their money in their resources in that day man you're gonna be casting your money in the streets and you're gonna be casting your money at people like like uh mr murdoch did all right he, he basically threw that money away he said shit nigga that can't save you right now that can't save you right now it can't save you it can't save me and that money is not going to be able to deliver you in that day but what will deliver you is what Isaiah 33 and 6 and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation the fear of the Lord is his treasure our true treasure is the strength and power of Yahweh while Yahweh shy and that wisdom and knowledge and that faith faith is a gift from Yahweh he gave us this gift and a hey, let the gift keep spreading man the gift of all gifts Put your faith on display. All right. Present yourself as a living sacrifice for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So that's what's going to deliver you in that day: wisdom and knowledge, knowing the name, having faith in the name, and repenting. With that, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai.